Hey guys, Pulper here, the Snipe with the Skills, and welcome back to 30 Minutes for Content. And it is September 30th, 2015, when I'm recording this. It is the last day in September, which also means it's the last day of the Gun Metal update. So, we have our final contract, unless we get another one later on in the day. What is it? Snowplow! Alright! Well, let's go do that contract. And then afterwards, we're going to open up the rest of our cases that we've gotten from contracts after the last case challenge. Come on. Yes. Yes! Ah, we got the heavy though. We got the heavy. Okay. Wait a minute. If. Oh no, it's me and the baby Shmi now versus a pyro and a heavy. Does this look like a job for a sniper? Oh no! Can I get them? Oh jeez! Ah! He clipped me. Okay, Overlord's now a sniper. Uh, it's a heavy and a pyro. A sniper would be really good. A sniper would be really good. Don't die, please, my friend. No, my friend! Alright. Okay. You're just, you're just going through the classes, so we need to be the guy with the... We have to be the sniper with the skills. Time to get some headshots. And based on the speed of a heavy... He should be right about there. Is he? We're gonna get ambushed, aren't we? Yeah, how about that? Oh. Good shot. Let's go get that point. Where's the ambush? Okay. Team of snipers, go! Incoming pyro! Hey, have fun with that train! Jurati! Oh, come on! There we go. Oh, I heard a teleporter or sentry nest. Oh, there's another sniper. I wonder what this is. Sniper fight! Let's cap that. Where did he go? <laughs> it's a team of snipers, pyros, I mean snipers, demos, NGs, and a heavy. Oh, there's a spree. Oh no. Oh my gosh! Oh no! That username. 
Could it be a hacker? Uh, there's a lot of spies on this server. Uh, bad spy. Oh jeez. Now they know. The enemy is about to deploy the device. Three, two, one. Bye. Is there a spy? Is there a spy? Bye. Oh, he got me. He got me. Guys, get on the point. We can win this. I feel like he's hacking. That is a hacker. I need that Uber to get get the hacker. Ready? As soon as the door, as before the door even opens, deploy the. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. Go. I mean, the it worked. I mean, they voted him off. I mean, I'll, we should count that as a win. So, how'd you guys enjoy the con the gunmetal contract update? There was an update to it. No, I mean this whole thing, the the contracts. Dry. Come on. Up oh, there's one. Don't open that. I don't know. I think that headshot validated opening it. I will help you, my fellow sniper friend. And we did it, but now we need to win. He's gonna go that way. And we got him. Ah, oh, that was bad on my part. Oh, come on! Get the cap! Get the cap! Yes! One down, two to go. Let's get that cap! Ah, 
Ah, oh, I gave him a full charge. Oh, it doesn't. I forgot that's not the right weapon. Guys, get the cap! Let's win this! Come on! We have finished! We have finished the gunmetal contract campaign. Let's turn in our final contract. And our final prize is... Ooh, a case. Okay. And our final total on our Australian coin is 3,640 3, contract points and 1,623 kills and we completed 28 contracts and we we did all of the bonus contract points so we have 840 extra points so since this is the end of the contract end of the campaign we needed to do these bonus points or else you wouldn't reach the goal because look 3640 minus 840 it's 28. It's 2,800. So you need to do at least some of the bonus points. So it was good we did them. Alright guys, I'll see you in a second for something I want to end this video with. Okay guys, I am back. And I got some keys. To wrap up this, this update, before I... Before I do this, I just want to say I actually really enjoyed this update. It it gave it gave players a a new challenge. It changed up how people wanted to play because oh hey, do you want to finish this contract? Then you have to play as this class even if you haven't played as it in a while. And it was a lot of fun. So, to conclude the TF2 gunmetal update, I'm going to open up my final cases I've gotten. I have two cosmetic cases and two powerhouse. So we're going to open up the cosmetics first. And let's see what we get. Oh, I it just showed me I got that, I think. Did it? Oh, it just showed it. Um That's weird. Um All right. Open with a key. That was really weird how it just showed me. Come on. Please. Okay, another flak jack. Okay. That's cool that we have the white Russian. Huh. And now our final two cases. Let's see what we get. Come on, please, something good. Okay. Ooh. I like how there's. I like this this wear and tear because there's the blood on the handle. That looks cool. And now our final case. Our final thing from the TIF2 gunmetal update is <laughs> another brick house. Okay. Okay. I'm not complaining, we got a new cosmetic for the heavy. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not though, because I like my current loadout for the heavy cosmetic wise. 
Yeah, we have three brick houses. I, mean, I feel like the most unique one is the one with the blood splatter. Oh, wait. Is that... Yeah, that triangle thing is what's custom on this. So, here's what we have from our journey across the TF2 gunmetal update. We have a concealed killer, uh, a, new, a strange concealed killer, we have a well-worn sandstone special, a backcountry blaster, homemade heater, hickory hole puncher, local hero, two flakjacks, two fortunate sons, a bog trotter, just the one with, yeah, with the blood splatter on the scope, I think. Uh, two concealed killers that are factory new with unique um, TF2 logos on the barrel. Uh, factory new profile, low profile, two strange low profiles. Uh, both field tested, and as you can see, there's difference. There's more wear on another part of this one, and this one has more wear on the barrel. We got a plaid pot shotter, an American pastoral. Backwards Boomstick, a Civic Duty Factory New. That one I really like. Uh, this was from the trade-up thing, the Blasted Bombardier, a Mast Mender, uh, three Mast Menders, two Reclaimed re Reanimators, Secondhand v Vascular Vestiment, which is strange, three Brick House, two Civic Pains, an Antique Annihilator, a White Russian Hat, three Flash Fryers, Earth, Sky, and Fire Flamethrower, which hat looks really cool. And two uh, Mare Revolvers. That one doesn't have a blood splatter. This one does, though. No, I'm not complaining. Wait a minute. We got... Did, wait, did we get something for each and every class? Okay, Scout... Scout and Engineer, Sniper, Soldier, Engineer, Heavy, and Pyro, Demo Man, Medic, Medic, Heavy, Pyro, Spy. Wait, I just have to do that one more time. Scout, NG, S Scout, NG, Sniper, Soldier, Heavy, Demo, medic, pyro, spot. Yeah, we got we got one thing at least for each and every class. That's really cool. All right, guys. So that's it for this episode. Thirty minutes for content. It went a little. It went a lot over in time, but I wanted to do this. I wanted to wrap up this contract campaign update by opening up our final cases and talking about how I feel about the update. I really liked it. I hope they do something like this again. Maybe they'll start one in the new year. But yeah, guys. Uh, th the reason I really like this was it gives players a more... They're more able to be individual with this update because you can... You li I, I mean, there might be some form of overlap with some of these weapons but I think there's I mean yeah there's a limited amount of surface on each of these weapons for it to be individual but look at the mask vendor alright see the end of the of the wiring on the medigun that one doesn't have the TF2 logo this one has it on the other side of the wire look see so there is a limited amount of space on each weapon for it to be individually like randomly generating custom but there's so many different options there's the blood splatter there's the wear and tear locations and where anything unique like the TF2 logo might appear so I think it's it's pretty cool because it allows players to have a little bit more individuality and thanks to the kill streak kits you can make your make these kill streak weapons and if you're lucky, you get them strange. Alright guys, I'm going to call this here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this update, overall, let me know.
Let's see, where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. And yeah, once again, I want to thank you all for watching. My name is Bob Burns, Square TF2, the sniper with skills. And also, I didn't acknowledge it, but I hope you're enjoying Vidtober. This is actually day five of Vidtober. And tomorrow, I might as well give you a little bit of a teaser. It'll be a Minecraft episode, video, but it won't be an episode of a series. So if you guys want to have a chance to guess what it is, let me know down below what you think it is or what you want to see. I may have already filmed it, but... I haven't filmed it as of filming this, but I may have already filmed it. But I want to see what you guys get, uh, guesses are, so let me know down below in the comments. And also, comment down below how you feel about this update. And what are your expectations for the Alien Invasion TF2 update? I think that they're going to maybe add a few new... They, they're probably going to add at least one stock melee weapon reskin. In my opinion, I think that's what they're going to add, definitely. And if we're lucky, they might add a few other weapon reskins, or even a new weapon. That'd be really cool. So yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. My name is Paul Burns, TF2, the sniper with the skills. And I will see you later, my fellow mercs. Bye.